Hi Greedy 3D is now I've been sent an air assist kit to go with my longer ray 5 laser engraver so what I'm going to do today is show you how easy it was to set this thing up to use with the engraver and we're going to make our first project with it I'm going to be making this Death Star Ooh, stay tuned <music> So here we have the unboxing of the air assist, but why do you need an air assist? Well, there's lots of reasons why it will improve your engraving, as you can see on the screen here, from reducing heat around the laser, removing smoke so the laser can do its job properly, protects your laser from residue, doesn't make it as dirty. It can reduce your engraving time and also it improves the quality and reduces any charring around the outer edge. That's really just rushed through the main benefits of getting an air assist. But if you've got a laser engraver, I thoroughly recommend you get one of these two. Now, mine came with a non-UK plug, down, thumbs down. Down, but luckily I have got an adapter which means I can just plug it in and get it away and going. First thing I'm going to do like I do with anything I get is test to make sure the thing turns on and yes it turns on and it's blowing out some air and I've just put that bit of paper there just so you can see there's quite a considerable amount of pressure quite surprising really. So installing it was relatively easy we had to just undo a few of the nuts on there take off the guard that sits on the bottom of your laser there pop that to one side and don't lose any of the screws now there's a black sort of encapsulated area there that we need to remove so we just take off a screw on either side and that thing will come off now we're not going to be putting that back on but ultimately we don't want to lose it so take it off put it somewhere safe and what I have done is the screws that came out from when I took it off I've put those screws back in now the actual air assist section that fits to the laser this just screws in there's like a little uh, washer a plastic washer that you put on and you screw this round and it screws in really really snugly and really tightly and holds it exactly where you need it again this was really really easy to do and once that's screwed in you put your guard back on with the two screws that you took off and that is pretty much it installed now that was not rocket science even for someone like me it took seconds to install now you get a black pipe with it which fits onto the one end of the air assist just by your laser so make sure that when you put it on you're not going to get any any way of anything and especially the little block that tells you the height that you need to move the laser up or down so don't get it in the way of that it comes with some cable ties so you can attach those cable ties to your wires and keep it out of the way so everything you need to get this thing to work is in the box and it literally took me 10 minutes to do it was absolutely Doddle, really, really easy. Now, once I'd got it all set up, what I did was I cut a little end off the tube as it is instructed to do. And I connected it into the air assist end. There's a pipe that sticks out that you cannot miss. There's a little valve that you can turn the air on and off with and you connect one end to the short piece, one end to the long piece that's connected into your air assist and that is done and dusted. A quick test to make sure it blows, all good. All good in the hood so what I'm going to do now I'm going to print or I'm going to engrave I should say this is a 3d printing channel but we do some engraving on it I'm going to engrave part of the Death Star that I've got and that I showed you a little bit earlier now I did do other parts of this Death Star with the air assist off and afterwards I will show you the comparison the difference you get between the air assist on and the air assist off now I speeded this up just so you can see the whole thing working but it is cutting through that beautifully no charring it is cutting evenly it's cutting quickly I'm really really pleased with how that looks now I know at this stage you can't really tell what the difference is because you've only seen me use it with the air assist on but let's show you first this this is with the air assist on this was what happened this is what it cut out now look at this piece this was the air assist off you can see exactly the same settings you can see all the charred bits the burnt bits the dirt on it but the air assist blew all that away you get a much cleaner more refined better finish with the air assist on so I'm just going to separate the three sort of shells of the Death Star with some polystyrene and this isn't any old polystyrene this is the uh, super glue friendly polystyrene so I'm going to cut it into tiny tiny little squares and this little Death Star is in three 
different sections. So I'm going to raise each one apart from the other. So it was just a case of finding out where I wanted each piece to be, sticking a little bit of that uh, polystyrene on there and making sure that each one is the same size, that it's the same height. We want it to look uniformed and using some super glue, it is super glue friendly, just to stick on the little bits ready for the next section. I don't want to put it all together yet, of course, because I'm going to have to do some painting with it, which I'll be doing very, very soon. But this is the test fit to see where everything is going to go and then we will get on with some painting. Now obviously this is wood so if you're going to do any paint on it you're going to need to prime it. So I'm just using some of this uh, Chaos Black Primer from Citadel to give everything a blast right the way across and once that had dried I turned it over and gave it a blast across the back also. Now for the main colours I'm using three greys from the Army Painter Regiment Uniform and Cadre Grey. I'm going to start on the back layer with the darker grey move to the middle layer with the medium grey and then by default the highest coloured grey will cover the front of the Death Star and will look great when they're all stuck together. Now once everything is painted and once everything is dry we're going to move on to the assembly stage where I'm just going to be using some super glue on this super glue friendly polystyrene and I'm going to carefully put it all together to let it look like it's a Death Star. Well that was it really, it's as simple as that, easy peasy to make. Now if you like what you've seen today and you want to support the channel there's a number of ways you can do that. You can subscribe to the channel, you can think about joining the Greedy 3D Patreon from as little as free to a few quid or you can just like, share and tell all your friends about Greedy 3D. Well I hope you've enjoyed that, I hope you uh, have enjoyed the Death Star and the Air Assist Kit. If you want to get hold of one it'll will be in the item description. I'll see you next time real, real soon on Greedy 3D.